Hi everyone, this is the ninth video of automated security testing using Zap series and today we are going to discuss about when to use spider for the scanning and when to use Zap as proxy. So regarding the first thing that when we can use spider or when we can use proxy that depends upon what kind of flow we want to cover as part of our security scans. So if we want to cover the functional flows, then of course we can set up Selenium and then we can use JAP as a proxy in our web driver. And the flows which will be covered by our Selenium script, those whatever the requests which are coming into the, those flows will already add to the scan tree. Okay. And once we have all the data available in the scan tree, we can run the passive scan and the active scan. In this way, we will be able to uh, cover say the most uh, it, like most of the time we have regress and back right so most of the critical functionalities of the application we will be able to cover in that way now when to use spider so spider is used to add those kind of resources into the scan tree which a functional flow cannot cover because while we were thinking about the functional flow we will be covering the critical functionalities of the application but think about that like we have a login page and once we are uh, executing a spider on that login page what that essentially means like whatever the links which are present on that particular page every possible link will be scanned and it will come into the scan tree and this thing is cannot be done by you know covering a functional flow so that's why spider is as useful as a covering the security testing of a functional flow because it will add those kind of resources into the scan tree which a human cannot add while going through uh, like different functionalities into the application right so we need to leverage both of these like we can have a selenium based automation framework where we can add uh, like jap as a proxy in that way we will be covering that flow but again, we can have more automated cases for those kind of things which we need to uh, like cover from executing a spider. Like this can be depending upon like we should at least try to uh, spider on those pages which are exposed to the general public without any authentication like login page or registration page or about us page or help section so those kind of things which are exposed to the general public without any authentication we can easily spider on them without because for them no authentication would be required and in case we want to spider the sections for which authentication is needed that we can cover using the videos which we have earlier discussed like if i go to, uh, go to the playlist if you see this 6th, 7th and 8th. So this is talking about the JSON based authentication, form based authentication and the OAuth based authentication. So basis, on basis of what kind of authentication or authorization your application is supporting, you can perform the scan on basis of that, right? Next thing to discuss in our agenda is Ajax Spider. So just like a traditional spider, it will add the resources to the scan tree. But the difference between both of these is like the traditional spider it doesn't go well with the modern days application which are using uh, latest javascript frameworks like react.js angular.js so in those cases uh, the traditional spider is not able to detect all the links so that's why ajax spider comes into the picture okay so whenever we are trying to you know spider a application which is using latest javascript framework it is best to use ajax spider now we will see that how we can trigger a ajax spider and how we can wait dynamically till that ajax spider is completed so to start with the ajax uh, spider what i'll do i'll bring up a container okay so that we can execute the ajax spider on a local host web application so for that just copy this command open a command prompt paste the command now this will bring up a container okay and now we can just go to this particular URL which is 127 and the port number is 3000 
okay so this site is up now we will be running a scan on this particular site okay and to check the apis of our spider like ajax spider you can just go to the local apis and then check ajax spider and here you will find all the definition of the functions that we can use okay and just like in case someone wants to do authenticated scan as we have uh, seen in the case of traditional spider we can pass the context name and the user okay and in that way we will be able to perform a, a ajax spider as a authenticated user but let's uh, take a normal scan without authentication and for that we will be using this particular uh, function which is scan and taking the url or we we like yeah so we this is though are taking like this is taking a lot of parameters but a lot of them are optional like if i go into the detail here it will show what all things are mandatory so it is saying that only api key is mandatory okay so i have already set up this particular endpoint in the postman is expiry action scan and this is the url which i am going to pass but before doing that we just need to check one more thing like how we can check whether the scan has been completed so that we can dynamically wait till the time as expiry is completed so for that we have this uh, status this is the function that we are going to use and it will say get the current status of the crawler and actual values are either stopped and running so we can straight away check it like if we do not have any ajax spider running then it will give uh, it will give us stopped and if uh, ajax spider is running then we will be having something like running so i have triggered a ajax spider and if i go to jap here i should be able to see some urls added and let us wait for some time here we should have some urls yeah now you see the urls are getting added so the resources are getting added in here okay so that means ajax spider is running and just like a traditional spider if you see the passive scan is also going on so that means we also need to wait for two things like first like ajax spider is completed the second whether the passive scan has completed so now if we see that endpoint which will tell us whether the spider has been running or not so if you see now this is saying running so as soon as we are done with the ajax spider uh, execution it will give us something like status as stopped so if we go to our automation framework and we see this perform spider scanning as a user so this is for a traditional spider but if you think about the ajax spider nothing major is changing here it's just that you will be using something like uh, client api let me show you quickly so i will not be making the entire function because this is uh, happening in the same way but i am going to give you a glimpse of how we can achieve it so client api dot ajax spider dot scan okay so you can perform any of this scan as user or scan uh, based upon what kind of scan we want to perform so once this is done you can save the response in uh, api response okay and then you can check whether it is saying okay or not so if it says okay that means the scan has started but again to check uh, whether the scan is going on or not we need to call this status uh, endpoint so for that you can just use this is expider dot status okay so and you can read it and you can just say while uh, that status is not equal to uh, stopped till that time this uh, will wait okay so this is as simple as that and after that as we have seen that we also need to wait for passive scan so this 
uh, thing will remain the same so I think now we got the good idea like how we can perform the edge spider using the automation okay now if I move to the notes section we have covered everything which was there into the agenda for the day I'll be sharing these notes into the description section of the video and in case you are liking the content that I'm making please do like and subscribe and you can share it with your QA friends as well okay so see you in the next video thank you Thank you.